You mean to run with that one? <laughs> yeah, we get asked about data a lot, right? As the Matterport guys, we get asked a lot about data. Yeah. Michelle, we, as a condition of our private training engagements, we request that basic financials are submitted prior to our flying out and training. And what that's taught me over the last five years of flying out throughout North America to train mostly the preeminent restoration contractors that serve this ecosystem is they're not really making as much money as either they think they are or they want to be. There's probably some value in that data, parenthetically speaking, being shared with those that are driving the only price list that matter between exact mate and civility. Um, this is why I've always felt about the restoration manager play. There was concerns about, oh, well, Vera's going to get our data. Well, what's it going to show that, you know, I own a company that's quite successful and like, we're not really going to do a distribution beyond paying for my taxes at the end of the year. Like, and we're darn good at it and people know it, like, what's it going to show? I mean, there's a lot of people that are worse than us, uh, at, at doing contents work, et cetera. I, I wouldn't have any reservation about that from where I sit. And I think that trying to assign all this value to our data as restorers and as if holding it back is going to make a restore more powerful, more wealthy, more successful, I think is a misnomer. I think when contractors are open with the pricing department at exact where I've seen them listen. And mm -hmm. I, I, I think there's 99 problems here for restorers. The data is not one. I can get into more problems, but that, that is not, not one to follow that thought through Michelle. I'll be using that as a quote later. Thank you very much. <laughs> it, you know, restorers are paying, this is pretty public guys. I think it's between 60 and 90 million dollars a year for exactimate licensing fees. Okay. I don't love the idea of our restorers who are getting by paying another 60 to $90 million to somebody else and being in two ecosystems all at once. Like that's arduous and, you know, training around exactimate is already expensive and complicated, right? It's totally necessary. I may be biased, but it may, it's totally necessary and valuable. Now we've got to do that twice. I mean, your investment in software and training doubles as a restore. Where does that get picked up on either price list? 